what is the difference between a degree in anthropology um, versus a degree in human sciences, psychology, or sociology, for example? Um, Alex, did you want to, to start on that question? Yeah, so I think that um, this is a question which you know generates a lot of debate within our own discipline. And so it's a question which we are actively uh, reflecting upon and thinking about. And if you join us here at UCL Anthropology, that is a conversation that you'll be part of. You know, what is the difference? You know, this is something that is constantly kind of evolving and, uh, and is open to kind of, you know, different interventions. I think for me, my own personal take on this is that uh, I very much believe that uh, anthropology is a discipline that focuses on the idea of moving through the world and making it with others. And I think that that is a key um, point of difference between how we approach these big questions. Like Martin said, you know, what is it to be human? You know, like Haiti mentioned, what is art? Does everyone have art? These big questions. It's not just about uh, in anthro in the anthropological discipline. It's not just about kind of posing these questions and kind of uh, in a very kind of uh, sort of vertical manner. But it's also about kind of creating a world with the people with whom we work in answering those questions. And in creating that world, we actually gain a deep insight into the answer to those questions. So to kind of try and you know, make this a bit more easy to understand, it's really a different relationship between the anthropologist asking questions and a sociologist asking questions or a psychologist asking questions and an anthropologist asking questions. We don't just pose questions, we live with people, we go through the world with them. And in going through the world with them as an ethical choice, we choose to make the world with them. And I think that that, um, it, uh, as both Laura and Eva have mentioned, it really uh, is underpins the reflexive identity that anthropologists take on. But it is also an ethical stance about how anthropologists can move through the world and act to bring about social transformation more widely. Thank you, Alex. Uh, Martin, did you want to contribute to that? I think Alex's answer is really great. Um, I think that's exactly, you know, putting your finger on, on um, again, you know, the temptation is to try and carve out a different field of study. Uh, but as the question implies, that's actually very difficult because what anthropologists look, like, look at does indeed overlap with what sociologists look, look at, psychologists look at, human scientists look at, and so on. So it's this manner of engagement, which, as Alex said, also has an ethical as well as a political dimension, I should say, um, that distinguishes anthropology. Uh, so I completely endorse what, what you're saying, Alex, there. Uh, just to be very simple about it, um, I think it is worth pointing out that um, generally, if you're more kind of natural science oriented and are not interested in questions of culture and society, you probably shouldn't be taking a degree in anthropology and maybe the degree in human sciences is more suited um, for you, just very kind of broadly speaking. If you're most interested in human phenomena as experienced at the individual level, um, then obviously psychology would be probably a better bet than anthropology. And also if you're interested uh, mainly in kind of broad um, uh, social structures that can be described in statistical ways, in political economic ways, and in the ways, for example, that class distributions are, uh, class conflicts um, um, it can be experienced in different countries. Uh, and you're looking things at this kind of macro level rather than the engaged human level that anthropologists adopt. Probably sociology is a better bet for you than anthropology. So there are these kind of broad ways of distinguishing these disciplines that if I were in your position, choosing a degree, I'd be thinking about very carefully. But I hope the kinds of answers that we've given you already give you a sense of the kind of qualitative difference of the kinds of approach that anthropologists adopt when looking at these questions. Laura? Yeah, if this helps anyone who's trying to figure out which degree to pick, um, in my personal experience trying to pick between sociology, for example, and anthropology was really that idea that Alex mentioned of social change. Um, I had wanted to go into international development as a career after my degree. And I think when I attended an open day in anthropology, that's really what stood out to me 
it's this idea that you're doing this degree and you're learning all these things and you can make the world a better place. Um, and I think that that was really what distinguished anthropology from other disciplines um, to me. And that's why I chose anthropology. So if you're, inter if you're interested, and we'll talk about this more in careers, but if you're interested in international development or social change in general, I think anthropology would be a really good choice for you. Thank you, Laura. Uh, Heidi? Yeah, I think something else that I just wanted to signal, because I've had this question in, in other um, undergraduate open days where some people have asked, isn't anthropology just colonial? And I think actually it's really important to, to think about the colonial roots of anthropology, not just as, you know, really difficult history that, you know, we're always discussing and coming to terms with. It's a really important part of the discipline. Um, but actually it's really generative because it also speaks to anthropology's global uh, perspective and I think that's something that really sets us apart from sociology or psychology so the kind of core tenets of these big questions that we've been talking about anthropology is answering is that commitment to thinking about those questions all around the world in all different places and yes very mindful of the problematic politics and histories that have accompanied these questions um, in the past and their legacy in the present which we're, we're, we're really thinking through a lot at the moment um, but actually that commitment to the global, to cross-cultural comparison, to, to really thinking about how big questions are situated, not just in London, but in Cape Town or in Nairobi or in Port Moresby in Papua New Guinea or in China um, is a huge part of the anthropological perspective that, that is foundational for our discipline and I think also sets us apart from those other degrees. Thank you everyone for, for your answers.